Welcome back, guys. Um, I'm actually recording this in the middle of a cricket match myself. That's my team in the back, and we're batting right now. It's a nice, nice day out here. So the Kings got off to a really good start with um, Prab Simran. Uh, he, I think he scored at uh, pretty much a 200 strike rate for the first 24 runs. Uh, off the first two overs, uh, about 23, 24 runs. So they got off to a good start, and he really went after Tim Saudi, uh, Tim Saudi with the, you know those three back-to-back -back boundaries, including a six. See, it's good to see the intent because I think he could be a really um, valuable player for India in the future. He's so young; he's only like 22, I think. So you know, really good to see his intent, and and he can keep. So that that was that was good to see. After that, uh, Dhawan was very you know consistent uh, throughout the. Uh, I think he scored about 40 runs, not at the you know the highest strike rates, but you need somebody to kind of hold the wicket on one end because on the other uh, other other end, Raja Paksa was doing really good. He he got a, a half century off 30 32 balls, so you know great strike rate uh, strike rate there as well. And then um, there were little cameos uh, in there, a couple good sixes by Sam Kern in the end. Jitay Sharma hit a few uh, good sixes and. Um, and uh, so yeah uh, overall a very good score and Mohali you know it's, it has a really quick outfield so uh, 192 uh, target it's a good target but sometimes you know it is chaseable in Mohali because it's not the biggest stadium and it does have quick outfield um, so overall you know they did they did good to cross that 190 mark and uh, in terms of the bowling from uh, the uh, Kolkata Knight Riders um, Tim Saudi got a wicket, but he was very expensive. He went for almost uh, 14 runs and over. I think it was 13.5. Um, the only two that really did well were uh, Varun Chakravarti and Umesh Yadav. And even they didn't get a lot of wickets, but their economy was good. We went to the second innings. Um, you know, more than KKR's batting, it was Arshdeep Singh that really took the game. Um, you know by the horns in the second over itself he got two wickets both on bouncers you know he's got a really good bouncer now too which is scary because he already had a great yorker uh you know he's left arm over pace uh good line and length so, so now he honestly once he got those two wickets kkr were just playing from behind the whole match uh you know you lose two wickets in the first uh two overs it's it, it gets tough uh tough out there uh, the only two batsmen, uh, two or three that did well today were, uh, they did the impact sub, they used Venkatesh Iyer, which was a good uh, use of impact sub. He had a solid, I think, 30, 35 runs. Um, in the end, uh, and also in the beginning, uh, Gurbaz did uh, really well. So Gurbaz did well, uh, I think, uh, um, but he also got out after like 20 odd runs. And then in the end, um, there were some issues with the lights um, and uh, and then we had the rain, the stoppage in play. So um, it, all in all, um, you know, after the, that initial spell by Arshdeep, you kind of knew Punjab would eventually, um, you know, unless somebody played a, out of their skin and just this ridiculous inning, you knew Punjab would probably pull this out. And uh, Andre Russell almost did that. Uh, he had like 35 runs. Um, you know with really good strike rates but that's when they they needed like 30 like they had 30 35 balls left and they needed like some ridiculous amount like 80 runs or something so you know um, and then the, uh, um, at the end the match got rained out and Punjab won by seven runs with the DLS method so a uh, great start for Punjab and um, let's see if they can keep it up because in the last few years they've also uh, gotten off to quick starts but then they started um, they started, you know, struggling after winning the initial few games, and um, you know, with the coaching changes and everything this year, um, hopefully that's uh, you know not an issue anymore. But let's see. So go well uh, to Punjab Kings, and oh, I just want to say uh, it's so nice seeing a match in Mahalia. These days, everything is in like. Uh, you know, Ahmedabad or Indore or somewhere in like middle India and there's like hardly ever matches up north So it just felt really nice seeing a match in Mahali because it has that ground has so much history behind it And it's such a nice ground and I just love like that op open open uh, open look of the ground and um, um, So so yeah, that was really good to see and lastly um, Apart from Arshdeep Sam Kern also got an important wicket 
although he was very expensive in terms of uh, you know uh, the run rate, but he did get that important wicket of Andre Russell in the end. And then uh, Harpreet Broad and uh, Rahul Chahar had some good overs with uh, you know low run rates per over. And then uh, Ellis and Raza both had a wicket as well. They did uh, they did well. So yeah, overall um, you know good solid team effort. Uh, but Arshdeep was the star of the bowling. So moving on to the second match, uh, Lucknow versus uh, uh, DC uh, or Delhi Capitals. So, um, I mean, there's not much to talk about other than Kyle Myers. I mean, that guy, what power, what clean hitting. And I mean, this guy just, it's hard to hit sixes over covers with that much power. And like, it should be illegal. <laughs> I think there was a point when um, Ian Bishop was saying, man, you're not supposed to hit it like that over there. So it was just insane. I think he had like 73 and like 38 balls, like 200 plus strike rate. I mean, that guy was like the star of the batting. Uh, and then he, uh, there was a really good cameo in the end by Nicholas Puran as well. So uh, yeah, both of the West uh, Indian uh, nationals uh, really took Lucknow home in the first inning. Um, apart from them, everyone else is pretty average or below average. Um, KL Rahul, again, the struggles continue. Only eight runs off 12 deliveries. Um, you know, subpar, 100 strike rate. Um, Deepak Hoda took almost three overs to score like 17 runs. So, you know, I just... Um, I mean, they'll, they'll get better as the season goes on, but... Um, in my honest opinion, KL Rahul and Deepak Hooda at this point in their careers probably should not play for India, especially in T20s. Uh, I mean, I still want like KL Rahul to play, you know, some tests and some ODIs lower down the order at five, which, you know, he does uh, does does well when he's not uh, put under a lot of pressures to open. Um, uh, so he can, um, you know, do that. And he we might well see him uh, batting at Lords for the WTC the test championship um or not the lord uh, not lord sorry the oval this time um so we might well see that and my team just hit another boundary we're chasing uh, like 180 something in this this match and there's a good chance we're gonna get it we're like four downs and there's like five overs left and you'd like still need like 50 runs but it's doable now because um, it's a very small ground. The, they put the cones like very, um, you know, close. So, yeah, so Kyle Myers and Puran were the stars, Nicholas Puran. And then, um, yeah, disappoint, disappointed in KL Rahul, Deepak um, I, uh, You know, they're good players, but I, I don't think they're India uh, national level T20 players anymore. And, um, um, you know, especially with so much talent in India right now, we shouldn't keep insisting on playing the same players over and over you know it, it, it's really unfair to the guys that the young guys that are doing so well that they have to keep um you know sitting out and i spoke about this before uh, actually i don't know if i've spoke about it on the, on these videos but there's too much seniority culture in team india and the national team um and so i think um that's something that it is getting better so, um, that was the highlights of the first innings in terms of batting in terms of bowling, um, DC, there, I mean, no one really did well. Other than Khalil Ahmed, I think he was the only one that even had less than uh, eight runs per over. Um, and, you know, he got a few wickets. Uh, Chetan Sakaria got a few wickets, but that was sort of, he got one wicket in the end when the game was almost, you know, the 20 overs were almost done. And he went for 53 runs in the four overs. So very, very expensive today. And um, yeah, there's not too much to highlight. Uh, Kuldeep Yadav was decent, but uh, um, overall, DC bowling was very subpar today, and that's some uh, something that uh, David Warner and Ricky Ponting will be looking to uh, uh, improve on in the coming games. And now, lastly, uh, coming to uh, DC's batting, um, there was none. <laughs> there was, I mean, David Warner scored 50 runs, but he took like 50 balls to score, so he 
didn't have a good inning. Uh, I, I, I remember when the commentator, uh, one of the commentators saying, oh, he's, he's put out of his misery when he finally got out because I guess he just wasn't making good contact, couldn't really, you know, get away. Uh, but, you know, it's not completely his fault because at the other end, um, you know, wickets were falling like a deck of cards. <laughs> And uh, yeah, more than DC's batting, it was about one man and one man only, and that man is Mark Wood. So congratulations, Mark Wood. He's back in the IPL after I think like five years, and he got a Pfeiffer on his first game. I mean, the guy was throwing rockets, like 147, 148 kilometers per hour. Uh, so he bowls a couple of short, uh, short balls to set up Prithvi Shaw, and then boom, just bowls him. Like Prithvi Shaw's footwork was all over the place. And then next ball, here comes Mitch Marsh, you know, like the guy that scored like 80, 90 runs at a great strike rate in a World Cup. He's like one of, you know, uh, recently he was on fire against India in the T20 series. And what does Mark Wood do? Bold. First ball. And that, now he's on a hat trick. Uh, Sarfaraz comes in. I think he hits like 1-4. Scores like four runs off four balls. And then next ball, Mark Wood short ball. And he's... Uh, I mean, it was a nice uh, looking shot, but I think he was a little off balance, didn't exactly middle it. So then it goes back uh, to, I think it was fine leg. Uh, uh, so yeah, then uh, later in the game gets a few more wickets for his Pfeiffer. But yeah, I mean, it was all Mark Wood. I think uh, Bishnoi did well. He got a few wickets as well. Uh, he um, And then um, um, I, I don't know if I spoke about Akshir Patel in the first uh, first, uh, first innings, but he did really well to get Kyle Myers out. I mean, that ball was unplayable, uh, so he did really well there. And then, yeah, apart from Mark Wood, I think Bishnoi did well, got a few uh, scalps, and then, uh, yeah, that was at, like it wasn't much of a game. They won by 50 runs in the end. Uh, the game was really over after Mark Wood that initial spell within like the power play when he got three wickets. So, um, so yeah, good start for. Uh, Good start for LSG, good start for uh, Punjab Kings, and uh, good start for Gujarat Titans yesterday. And then tomorrow we have two games. Uh, we have MI versus RCB, and then we have uh, Hyderabad SRH versus um, Rajasthan Royals, who were, you know, the runners up last year. So that's going to be, those are going to be two fun games tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that is all for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow and uh, enjoy these memes. Bye. Since I was talking about the game uh, a lot, I'll just tell you guys we lost in the end by like 30 runs. We fell 30 runs short, um, but uh, you know, it's all good. Mosquitoes are biting me right now, so I'm trying to rush back to my car and get home ASAP. I take a shower, eat something, and edit this video. Got a lot of other work to do. Man, the one thing about cricket is it takes like the whole, like, you know, half of your day is just gone if you have a game or something. So I don't know, it's, maybe I'll just go to that indoor. I go to an indoor facility sometimes just to practice. Like there you can, there's, they have like three, four lanes with nets. You can just practice bowling and batting. I don't really have gear and I have like this really old bat that's more of a tape ball bat than an actual leather ball bat. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the games are, uh, you need a lot of gear for cricket and it's like very expensive locally. So let's see. Um, but, you know, it is nice to come out, get some exercise and, uh, you know, enjoy the nice outdoors. Look at that.